Blessings, 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 beloved. Blessings to Smurf and TikTokers. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. This read for July 4th, 4th of July, will be broadcast live as I'll be back up feeling a whole lot better. All right, let's get into our read. Today's read is for Monday, July the 4th, 2022. Genesis 24th chapter, verses 22 through 67. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man unto the well. Any man coming through, throwing down all them bracelets and jewelry and stuff that he presented to the daughter. Hey, that's a blessing, right? <laughs> so you want to come see this man. Praise God. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Genesis the 24th chapter and the 22nd verses, and it reads. And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands and of ten shekels weight of gold and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethel, the son of Melchah, which she bare unto Nahar. And she said moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord and said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, because he done found his brother who have not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I, being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well. And so it came to pass that he saw the earring and bracelets upon his sister's hands. And when he heard the words of Rebekah, his sister saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he show, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camel at the well. This line bothered me, but that's the paper. <laughs> I thought, I'm like, what is that? And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord, wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and the room for the camels. And the man came into the house, and he ungirded his camels, and gave straw and provender for the animals, and water to wash his feet and the men's feet that were with him. And there was set meat, not vegetables, and there was set meat before him to eat. But he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he has become great, and he hath given him flocks and herbs and silver and gold and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses. And Sarah, my master's wife, bare a son to my master when she was old, and unto him he'd given all that he had. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife to my son of the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, Preadventure the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee and prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred and of my father's house. Then shall thou be clear from this my oath when thou comest to my kindred. And if they give not thee one that shall be clear, from thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well and said, O Lord God, my master Abraham, if now thou do prosper my way, which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water. And it shall come to pass that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. And she say to me, both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman who the Lord hath appointed out for his master's son. And before I had done speaking in my heart, behold, Rebekah came forth with her pitcher on her shoulder. And she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, Let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste and let down her pitcher from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. 
So I drank, and she made the camels drink also. And I asked her and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethel, Nahar's son, whom Melchah bore unto him. And I put the earring upon her face, and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, which had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now, if ye deal kindly and truly with your master, tell me, and if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. And so Laban and Bethel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. But behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abram's servant heard the word, their, their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment and gave them to Rebekah. He gave also to her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, and he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her, bro and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at least ten. After that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered my way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister. Be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rebekah rose, her and her camels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the man. And the servant took Rebekah and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well, Laharoth, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes. And when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. That's a good place to stop. Praise the Lord. We'll stop right there. We'll stop right there. And that'll bring us up to 7 5. Uh oh. But wait a minute. It's only, let's finish that. It's just one more little. I didn't know that. So, and the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah. And she became his wife. And he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. And that will bring us to chapter 25. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearing me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. As you see in the Bible, when you begat, when you lay with a woman, when you have sex with a woman, that in and of itself is marriage. You get, you sleep, you know, them one-time affairs, and the woman get pregnant, that's because you just married her. Um, that's just what the Bible say. All right. We are Smurf Family International Ministry, Seven Minute Read Family, just Seven Minute Read Followers, just Seven Minute Read Faithful Folk. We do broadcast live daily Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can always find the pre reads on YouTube and Facebook at Pamela Dobson or when we are live, YouTube and Facebook at Pamela Dobson. This is in the Zoom if we do a Zoom, and these are the the various social media platforms we broadcast live on. Any donation the Lord has upon your heart, send it to Mama Pam, dollar sign Mama Pam 23, paypal.me forward slash Pam Dobson, and I'm running out of time, Mackenzie Jewett. Praise God. I'm looking for $7 million to build a transitional home here in Texas for underprivileged girls of color that look just like me. Get in touch with me and you can send your donation. Pamela Dobson, 0723 at gmail.com. TikTok, it's about to drop. Gotta stop. Love you. God bless. <laughs>